Relapsing fever is a vector-borne disease caused by infection with certain bacteria in the genus Borrelia, which are transmitted through the bites of lice or soft-bodied ticks. Signs and Symptoms Most people who are infected develop sickness between 5 and 15 days after they are bitten. The symptoms may include a sudden fever, chills, headaches, muscle or joint aches, and nausea. A rash may also occur. These symptoms usually continue for two to nine days, then disappear. This cycle may continue for several weeks if the person is not treated. Causes equals Laos born relapsing fever equals, along with Rickettsia prowazekia and Bartonella quintana, Borrelia recurrentis is one of three pathogens of which the body Laos is a vector. Laos born relapsing fever is more severe than the tick born variety. Laos born relapsing fever occurs in epidemics amid poor living conditions, famine, and war in the developing world. It is currently prevalent in Ethiopia and Sudan. Mortality rate is 1% with treatment and 30 euro 70% without treatment. Poor prognostic signs include severe jaundice, severe change in mental status, severe bleeding, and a prolonged QT interval on ECG. Lice that feed on infected humans acquire the Borrelia organisms that then multiply in the gut of the louse. When an infected louse feeds on an uninfected human, the organism gains access when the victim crashes the louse or scratches the area where the louse is feeding. B. recurrentis infects the person via mucous membranes and then invades the bloodstream. No non-human, animal reservoir exists. Equals tick-borne relapsing fever equals Tick-borne relapsing fever is found primarily in Africa, Spain, Saudi Arabia, Asia, and certain areas of Canada and the western United States. Other relapsing infections are acquired from other Borrelia species, which can be spread from rodents, and serve as a reservoir for the infection, by a tick vector. Borrelia crociduria euro occurs in Egypt, Mali, Senegal, Tunisia. Vectors are euro ornithodros erraticus, Ornithodros sunri. Animal host a Euro shrew, Borrelia dutoni, transmitted by the soft bodied African tick Ornithodros maulbata, is responsible for the relapsing fever found in Central, Eastern, and Southern Africa. Borrelia harmsa, Borrelia hispanica, Borrelia miyamotoi, Borrelia parkleri, Borrelia tricti, B. harmsa, and B. recurrentis cause very similar diseases. However, one or two relapses are common with the disease associated with Bihamsa, which is also the most common cause of relapsing disease in the United States. Diagnosis Relapsing fever is a candidate etiology for a mysterious series of plagues in late medieval and early Renaissance England. At the time, they were called sweating sicknesses. They have not recurred in epidemic form since the 16th century. The diagnosis of relapsing fever can be made on blood smear as evidenced by the presence of sporocytes. Other sporocyte illnesses do not show sporocytes on blood smear. Treatment Relapsing fever is easily treated with a one to two week course of antibiotics, and most people improve within 24 hours. Complications and death due to relapsing fever are rare. Tetracycline class antibiotics are most effective. These can However, induce a Jerusha Euro Hexheimer reaction in over half those treated, producing anxiety, diaphoresis, fever, tachycardia, and tachypnea with an initial pressor response followed rapidly by hypertension. Recent studies have shown tumor necrosis factor alpha may be partly responsible for this reaction. Vaccine research Currently, no vaccine against relapsing fever is available, but research is ongoing. Developing a vaccine is very difficult because the sporocytes avoid the immune response of the infected person through antigenic variation. Essentially, the pathogen stays one step ahead of antibodies by changing its surface proteins. These surface proteins, lipoproteins called variable major proteins, have only 30 or euro 70% of their amino acid sequences in common, which is sufficient to create a new antigenic identity for the organism. Antibodies in the blood that are binding to and clearing sporocytes expressing the old proteins do not recognize sporocytes expressing the new ones. Antigenic variation is common among pathogenic organisms. These include the agents of malaria, gonorrhea, and sleeping sickness. 
important questions about antigenic variation are also relevant for such research areas as developing a vaccine against HIV and predicting the next influenza pandemic. History the physician David Livingston is credited with the first account in 1857 of a malady associated with the bite of soft ticks in Angola and Mozambique. In 1904-1905, a series of papers outlined the cause of relapsing fever and its relationship with ticks. Both Joseph Everett Duckin and John Lancelot Todd contracted relapsing fever by performing autopsies while working in the eastern region of the Congo Free State. Dutton died there on February 27, 1905. The cause of tick-borne relapsing fever across Central Africa was named Spirillum Duttoni. In 1984, it was renamed Borrelia Duttoni. Sir William MacArthur suggested that relapsing fever was the cause of the Yellow Plague, variously called Pestis flava, Pestis ictericia, Badonail, or Cronconail, which struck early medieval Britain and Ireland and of epidemics which struck modern Ireland in the famine. See also, Lyme disease, typhus. References External links, CDC, Relapsing Fever, Scientist and Astronomer Larry Webster Infected with Relapsing Fever